Kerry Kennedy, one of Robert's eleven children, insisted Meghan and Harry had changed the narrative around the world about mental health and racial justice. However, Piers branded them greedy and argued they had set out to cause as much damage to the monarchy as they can without providing evidence of any abuse they suffered. Kerry, whose famous father once worked with the civil rights activist Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., had praised the pair for their moral courage. He told the Telegraph, they went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong, that they couldn't have structural racism within the institution, that they could not maintain a misunderstanding about mental health. They knew that if they did this there would be consequences, that they would be ostracized, they would lose their family, their position within this structure, and that people would blame them for it, he continued. They believed they couldn't live with themselves if they didn't question this authority. I think they have been heroic in taking this step. However, a furious peers asked what Meghan and Harry had done to deserve such an illustrious award, challenging them for leaving their royal duties behind to pursue a new life in America. He argued the couple hadn't produced a shred of evidence to support their claims the royal family had been institutionally racist or someone had been dismissive of Meghan's suicidal thoughts. The broadcaster continued by arguing the couple preach about equality despite living in a $11 million mansion. He also questioned their commitment to fighting high-carbon footprints despite taking private jets themselves. Then he pointed out they regularly list privacy as important to them, but continue to promote themselves via podcasts, interviews and magazine covers. What part of any of this lives up to the ideals of Bobby Kennedy? He quizzed in his column for The Sun.